Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new vlog. It is the start of South by Southwest. Last night, I went out on Rainy Street. We did a Locks Club event and I vlogged it in my weekly vlog. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll link it down below. But today is a day full of events. So I thought I would take you guys along. I'm actually headed out to meet some family for coffee there in town. And I'm hoping that they bring their baby because I haven't met him yet. Um, but we're going to go to Springdale General Cafe Medici, get a little coffee in our systems, maybe be some matcha for me and then I have an event starting at 11 30 so let's get the day started quick little overview this sweatshirt is from aloe express jeans are abercrombie got my furry birkenstocks on and we're ready to go event is at 11 30 on south congress so i just need to do a little bit of touch up to my hair probably put in some texturizing spray also this is the brand i'm actually going to the event it's called dibs beauty and i love the shape this is the the blush is ride or die and then the bronzer is wing woman and it's such a good shade a little contour stick on this end and then some blush on this end so that's what I have on my face and I use it every single day um, but yeah hair is looking a little flat just gonna be using whey texturizing spray and putting it right there. oh definitely just spray my face okay and then the trick is to like literally just flip your hair over a couple times times better we're good to go not even 11 a.m but we're already on the second outfit of the day this blazer is from petal and pup this little tank top dealio is from abercrombie it's like a little bow tie top right there it's super cute and very flattering and then this little gold chain belt is from amazon pants are silver lake co i had abercrombie jeans on and i realized that they were just like super not comfortable for like sitting down eating brunch. These are so stretchy and literally my go-to pants. I love them so much. I think you can purchase that at Nordstrom. And then I have my Dolce Vita heels on. I'm gonna try to link all my outfits I talked about in this video on my Like to Know It. Um, so you can head over there. It's basically like an app where all your favorite bloggers, Instagrammers, YouTubers post the exact links to their outfits so it's a really great app and you can also use it to just get like fashion inspo um but i think i'm gonna head over there early just because i always am worried about being late um so let's go guys i'm so nervous but i'm walking over to central standard for the dips beauty event that event was so much fun and I like didn't want to leave I literally had to like force myself to get out of there and I am just so happy that I went I mean like obviously I was gonna go but I was so nervous and literally when I was walking there my heart was beating so fast I thought I was gonna like die just because I was nervous excited all of the things and I met so many cool people and I literally ugh, I wish I could like 
bottle up this feeling of this high right now and just like have it forever. Overall of the event, they came out with two new shades of their duo sticks and I literally use their duo sticks every day. This blush is, uh, I, I wanna say the Wing Woman shade. It's so good, but I'm really, really excited to try out the new shades because um, it's more of like a mauve, like a deep plum shade, one of the blushes and I love that color. Anyway, so that's number one. The brunch food was really, really good at the Central Standard right next to the South Congress Hotel on South Congress, so great spot. And then, again, the people were just so amazing. I met so many people that I've been following on Instagram for so long that I just have not gotten the chance to network with, and today was finally the day, so I met Kayla Quinn. Um, I've been following her since literally Ben's season of The Bachelor. Um, I met Kelly Ann, which I've been also following, like, when I kind of recently moved to Austin. She's a makeup artist and does well, now she's living in New York, but she does, like, celebrity makeup artists, like, a lot of influencers that I follow, and she was honestly, like, so freaking sweet, and I hope that we can glam together soon. I think I'm gonna go to New York soon, and she said she would love to glam me, and I was like, I could die right now. And then I met Courtney, and she was stunning, and I literally loved her outfit so freaking much, and I saw my girl Jenna, which I haven't caught up with in so long, and she's literally killing it. Her podcast is so good. It's called Fun on Weekdays if you guys are needing another podcast to listen to. It's really good, and she's so well-spoken, and just like, she's just an entrepreneurial gal, and I love to see it. She's killing it, and oh, so many other people. I, I literally cannot get over it, and Unfortunately, I just feel so exhausted from it. Like it's such a high that once you leave, it's almost like kind of like a low because you're so exhausted from talking and just being so excited that I feel like I think I'm gonna need to skip this next event, which was for Disney Plus, um, because I need to prioritize the like to know it one because I feel like that's gonna be a good networking event for me. Um, and that starts at four. It's currently almost three, and the movie would have started at 3.30, but check-in was at 2.30, so by the time we get all the way over to the Long Center, I just don't think it's gonna be, like, worth it to go over there. But I really wanted to show face because I wanted to, like, you know, network again. I feel like this whole South by Southwest thing, I think it's, like, for everyone, too, but I feel like it's definitely about the networking for me and just, like, meeting people and, and you know, connecting with these brands and connecting with their teams, and I just think it's, like, the coolest thing. I mean, I've only been to, what, like, two events already? Um, I went to the Locks Club event last night, and I just... I love it. I love seeing brands come to Austin and it just makes me so happy. So definitely riding a high right now and I'm going to go home. I literally just picked up some pizza from Southside for Ryan and I'm going to chill a little, post all my stories because usually I just like capture the content when I'm in the moment and then I'll like post them, tag everyone later just so I get everything right and can really chill and, you know, make sure it's perfect. And then we will probably go to the Lake Tanoa event at four. Um, still riding a high, honestly. It's just been such a good day, like seeing family. Also, I didn't really vlog that, um, but I'll insert a picture here. Here's my uncle and my aunt, and they didn't bring the baby, so I didn't get to meet him, unfortunately, but hopefully we're gonna plan a family reunion because those trips are always so fun. We have such a big family on my mom's side, and it's just really, really fun to just like get together and see all the kids and just catch up, you know? So it was really good to see them and they got to meet Ryan and they liked him and Ryan liked them. So it just went really well. Um, but I wanted to open up the goodie bag on camera and kind of show you guys like the new shades of the Dibs Beauty uh, duo sticks. So the shade I use currently is the Bronzer's Wing Woman, the Blushes Ride or Die. This is what that looks like. It's definitely more of like a warm tone bronzer. And then this is the blush I'm like obsessed with it so pretty especially through summer like i love to put it on my nose right here it just looks so good okay but the new shades that they have are 5.5 and 1.5 so i'm really gonna love like this one especially because it's more of like a purple like mauve deep mauve kind of color um but the contours you kind of see it's more cool tone instead of being a little bit warm tone so those are the new shades and i'm really excited to like play around with them and then let's see what else is in here Okay, we have this little cookie, and I actually love these kind of cookies. They're so good. And then, okay, this, wait, this feels so luxurious. It doesn't feel like glass, like it's rubber. I've never felt something like this before, but this is freaking stunning. Okay, love that. I feel like it's, what is this? 
Ooh, okay. So cute. Little hoodie action. It says Desert Island Beauty Status. That's what Dibs stands for. This is the back. I feel like this is so cute. Wait, I didn't realize it was cropped. All right, so it is currently 3.49. The Like to Know It event starts at four and it's back on South Congress. So we're gonna head over there. I think I might change into something a little bit more comfier. Maybe just not wearing heels cause it's just not a vibe for the rest of the day. Um, probably gonna put on some sneakers and thinking I'm switching on my outfit just a little bit, but We'll see, I'll keep you guys updated. My room is progressively getting messier by the second, but this whole look is Princess Polly and I just went for like a little monochrome look. East Austin is popping. So many people out today. And actually such good weather, like it's cold, but at least we got pretty skies. at the like to note event and i am just so happy like this day i wish it could last forever it's just so cool i'm meeting so many cool people so many like good connects and i just cannot be more grateful savings time or whatever the opposite of that is so it's the last time we're gonna see the sunset at 652 yeah 752 next tomorrow <laughs> yeah we're gonna have so much time when we wake up to be pitch black oh jeez. we take Sophie out in the freezing cold oh gosh hopefully this week it gets warmer influencer boyfriends got the like to know it gear <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah <laughs> It's 7.42 and we are headed to our last event of the evening. It's for an HBO Max series and it's at Vulcan Gas Company and I've never been to this venue. I've literally never even heard of it. So shall be interesting. Um, and the Uber is five minutes away. I just threw on a little sweatshirt. Still have these white pants on from Princess Polly and then I'm gonna just throw over a camel coat. Cause like, honestly, when I was out last night, everyone was like bundled up and it didn't really matter if they were like looking super cute. Plus tonight, I don't think we're gonna be out for too, too long unless it's like super lit, um, which I'm hoping it would be, but um, we're both really, really tired. So I'm craving to be like just in my bed right now, but I do just wanna check it out. Cause you never know. Like even last night, I didn't know that there was gonna be like that musical performance. And that was just the best part of like the night. Well, not the best part of the night, but like the best part of that event. So. I'm very excited to see what it's like over there and we're gonna head out there now.
Good morning, happy Sunday. I'm getting ready to head out to my first and probably only event of the day. It is Sunday, so I think it's just gonna be a lot slower of a day, and I think it's gonna be really good weather out, so hoping to take advantage of that later tonight. But right now I'm gonna go to the Create and Cultivate event at Fair Market, which is on the east side, and let me show you guys my outfit of the day. Okay, so first off, I'm wearing this coat I've literally been wearing all weekend from Shop Red Dress. You can like belt it, and it's super cute because it's just really flattering like that and then this top is from Meshki and I don't know I feel like it's too much boobs but I can always pull it up a little bit these pants are from Amazon I was obsessed with these pants last year and I'm not sure why I stopped wearing them they are so freaking flattering and I'm actually wearing leggings underneath because I think I'm gonna have to wait in the line outside for a little bit and then shoes are Charles and Keith they have like a little heel well, kitten heels, so I'm about to head over there. Hopefully, parking's not a mess. I heard the first 200 people get goodie bags, so let's go. We're at Create and Cultivate, and I made a new friend. Do you want to introduce hey. yourself and tell yeah. me your hat? I'm Jillian. You can find me at Thighs and Lows, and I'm all about plus size and body positivity. Love so, that. Love that. Yeah. It's so been great getting to know you. Yeah, you too. We're close to the line. Well, the start of the line. And we're really crossing our fingers to get those goodie bags. The first 200 are going to get goodie bags. So I feel like we were definitely in the first 200. We got here at like, what time? Like 9.20. 9.20? I don't know. Somewhere around that. So we were here pretty early. So fingers crossed. Just 
got home from Create and Cultivate and honestly, I was not expecting to be there for that long. I waited three, actually over three hours for um, the fashion portraits that the girl was doing and honestly, it was so worth it. This is how it turned out. And she is so talented. Like, I wish I could draw like this. This is amazing. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with it. Like, should I frame it? I don't even know, but I am obsessed. But I thought I would show you guys what all I got from Create and Cultivate because I got a goodie bag. You had to be like the first 200 people to get in. And honestly, the line wasn't that long when I first got there at like 920. And I thought it would be like already hitting 200 people. So I was happy about that. And what else? Oh my God, I met so many cool people. Like so many new people. And I was actually supposed to meet one of my friends there and she... I think overslept or something like I don't even know what happened but it's totally fine because usually I'm not very outgoing if I'm alone like I'm more outgoing when I have friends around but today I was like trying to push myself outside my comfort zone and just like connect with as many people as I could so that's what I did and I just like you know make conversation with everyone and I feel like when you go to these events like other people know it's kind of like a networking thing so like they're more open to meeting new people and just being kind. I feel like in Austin, people are so nice though. Like, I don't, I don't think that's like an issue, but I am just so happy that I went. I'm very exhausted though. I'm not going to lie, but we got to take advantage of all these cool events and just getting free stuff and meeting cool people. So I'm just so happy to finally have the ability to experience South by Southwest. So let's get in the goodie bag. So first off, I have not eaten anything today and it's currently 3.56. Am I okay? I literally had one LaCroix and I'm just like, yeah, I'm not okay actually. But I didn't think that I would be staying there that long um, because I really wanted that fashion portrait and uh, I didn't even actually really know that there was food or snacks. So then I saw this walking out and so I was like, okay, cool. I could have eaten something way before that. Um, but I got some skinny pop. And then I saw these and I was like, oh my gosh, somebody just told me to try this flavor because I put these in one of my other vlogs, um, trying seaweed. And this is the teriyaki flavor. So I'm very excited to try these. And then literally when I got the goodie bag, I didn't really look inside of it, but I just peeped and sitting right on top are my favorite sheet masks ever from Rael. It's the tea tree one and it's like, just the best for hydrating your skin, which I feel like my skin has been very dry lately. And then they had a LaCroix booth, so got some LaCroix and some LaCroix merch. I have no idea where, oh, it's in here, okay. Let me show you that before I move on. Um, I got this hat, little jean LaCroix hat, super cute. Um, oh, I also took a photo with some of my new friends. And I thought I got a shirt, but I don't know where that is. Um, I got this little camera from the Planoli um, booth, little picture spot. And I actually use Planoli, so I love that brand. Like, that's another really, really cool brand. I use it to plan out my Instagram feed, my personal and my business one. So that is awesome that they were there. Okay, so, ooh, I got this. It's from Ceremonia. It looks like a face mask of some sort. Um, ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Wait, did it get wet? What the hell? Oh my gosh, no, it got wet. Shit. This is so cute though. It's just like a create and cultivate notebook. Love that. We have cashew coconut super bites. We have a dietary supplement de-stress aid. It's funny because I always tell Ryan that I want to start taking melatonin gummies and he's like, you do not need those. Like, you'll be dead. Because I just like actually have an issue with sleeping all the time. Um, like, not during the day. I, well, I, like basically if we're in the car going somewhere, I'm asleep. If we're in the airplane, I fall straight to sleep and I knock out for the whole airplane ride, which is a blessing. Thank you, God, for making me that way. Because airplane rides, like, I get just so anxious. Um, okay. Ooh. This is a seed sprouting kit from, oh, maybe that's the company, but that's cool. I would love to have a little garden someday, especially with herbs, because I feel like I buy herbs and then they just go bad so easily. <laughs> um, so that kind of sucks, but what is this? 
um, Climate Hero Super Cake. Wow. Okay. We got another drink. Goat Fuel Energy Drink. Gummy Bear Flavor. I feel like that would be so good. It's only 10 calories. Ooh, we got Nair Waxing Strips. I could use that. Oh, shit. There was already a camera in here. I got two. Okay. Um, we got a little LaCroix button. That's cute. What else? What? Shut up. It says get a free pair of the softest leggings ever from Beyond Yoga. And they had a booth. I felt their leggings and I was like, I think I need this. Like, they were actually so soft. So that's amazing. Literally going to put this over there so that I remember <laughs> to do that. We got another dietary supplement. We got a pop socket, a LaCroix pop socket. I literally have so many pop sockets from this weekend. Not complaining though because like I feel like I'm always needing new cases and all that kind of stuff. We have the Mario Badescu spray. I don't know why but this bag just got dirty all of a sudden. That's so odd. Okay, we have Ooma beauty um drama bomb so i'm guessing it's some kind of like a lip product that's gonna be fun to play with i'm telling you got another pop socket more Lacroix. um let's see what this is something skincare i try to be so careful because like my press-ons can break off or pop off if they want to so okay we just have some skincare samples from this brand and then we just have a lot of just like papers. Ooh, another little coupon code. What? A little freaking glitter. Oh wait, no, this is a freaking wallet. <laughs> oh, a card holder, that's cool. From Packed Party. I actually applied to a job when I first got to Austin at Packed Party. And uh, what is this? What the heck? We have a whole little like plastic bag um well no it's not plastic basically like a substitute for a plastic bag because it's rubber and you can reuse it reusable food container that's what i was getting at poopery love this stuff um salicylic acid body spray got some batiste dry shampoo and what the heck there's a whole book in here wait i know her shit i'm so mad this bag got wet this is pile and she is the founder ceo or whatever of class pass and she's a brown girl like me so that's kind of cool that this was in there so that is it of all the stuff i got in my goodie bag um today i'm probably just gonna chill a little bit and i do need to edit my vlog and get that posted because it is posting day sundays are my weekly vlog posting days and then what else we're gonna go grab dinner somewhere and of course we want sushi because when do we not but we need to decide where and then i was also thinking i have so much food at home that i need to cook dinner in but ryan doesn't want pasta so we're gonna go out <laughs> so i've been editing a video for the past couple of hours and today was actually daylight saving time so um the clock went forward spring forward we gained an hour and it's still light out and it's literally 7 23 p.m which is literally amazing but also not good for my workaholic brain because i usually kind of like check out when it gets dark but now that it's not getting dark earlier i feel like i'm gonna be working a little bit more but also it's kind of good for just content creation in general because i'll have more light to work with because I'm always like rushing to, you know, beat the sun, but I'm so happy and I'm very excited for spring and just like warmer weather this week is going to be so nice. I think it's going to be like 75, 80 every weekend, but I'm going to go on the porch and enjoy the sunset. I do a lot of Austin content if you guys are new around here and I love it here so much especially like weeks like these like when things are just like you know when when there are events going on and I get to see a lot of people it's just so fun but Ryan wanted to check out the Porsche event should we do that today or this week 
They're from the 20th, so we can. Okay. Maybe we'll do that this week, so you'll just have to watch my weekly vlog. I totally forgot to outro this vlog, so here I am days later, but South by Southwest is still going on, and I'm filming everything for my weekly vlog that's coming next Sunday. So keep your eyes out for it. If you guys are not already subscribed, make sure to do so. I post a lot of Austin content, fashion, beauty, weekly vlogs, long aesthetic vlogs, all of that kind of stuff. So definitely hit that subscribe button if that's what you're interested in. And then you can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Both are so underscore gnarly without the G. So I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!